episode. I haven't, I haven't even intro the video, guys. But I was working out and I saw that my package was delivered. So I was like, hell no. And I left. So here's the, the springs all opened up, guys. This is like the third time I record this because I would hide the like the shipping info on the front just so I could show you guys the box. But um or the front of the box, but there was another little sticker that also had my address and it was visible. So but here they are guys. I went with the sport lines just because I thought um like the pro kit didn't really lower it enough. And if I'm spending a good amount of money, I kinda want it to be like kind of noticeable. Not like barely noticeable, so that's why I went with the sport lines. And then you just get your four set of springs. <clears throat> and then you get some stickers. And then I guess like you can watch how to put them on. I'm not putting them on, so <clears throat> I don't gotta worry about that. For those of you who are interested in actually like seeing the box, there it is. My address was right here, and here, so I just covered it. But just I, it just says Ebok, Ibok, however you guys prefer to um, pronounce it. And then it's just red, and that's it. So I finally got the springs on, guys, and here's the final product. Um, I'll do a walk around so you guys can see the car. And I honestly really liked how it came out, guys. Um, it's like perfect for me. I didn't want it too low, but I also didn't want it like, you know, like all high, like stock. And I felt like this was just perfect. I just really liked how it came out. So, yeah. Don't wanna step on some thorns or something. So yeah, guys, and I already mentioned it before, or I'm not sure how much I talked about it, but um, I went with the iBox Sport Lines. And like I said, it's because I wanted something that wasn't gonna be like too, like, cause the pro kit to me seemed like it just didn't lower the car enough. And I didn't want to spend a bunch of money and you know, have it look like stock. And um, I didn't want to go with D2s because I don't know, I just felt like D2s was just way too low for my preference. Um, but that's just me. So I went with the Eibach, uh Sport Lines and I really liked how it came out. So, you know, I'm happy with the finished product. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about in this video guys. And the first one was um, price. Because I feel like everybody, like, you know, thinks about that. And, you know, everybody wants to do stuff to their car. But money isn't doesn't come in just like that. So, um, I paid 262 for the Springs. Um, I got them from the Pro Civic website. But I'm pretty sure it's, you know, it's around the same price everywhere. So, I paid 262 for that. And I didn't put them on myself. And I didn't have a shop um, to put them on for me. I had a, this guy, I know. And he used to work in my other car. And he works in like, his own cars. And he's also a tech at um this one shop i'm not i'm not sure where but he knows his stuff so i let him do it for me and um he charged me 200 and as you guys know after you guys get some springs installed you guys need an alignment so i got my alignment then at honda and i needed an oil change and a tire rotation um just before i even got the springs on so i just got the alignment done at the same time because i didn't want to you know it was just more convenient to get it right there done instead of like making an appointment somewhere else and going somewhere else so I got, I paid a hundred bucks for it. I think it was like 100, 110, around there. I think it was a hundred bucks. So, so that's how much I paid. And I don't even think it's that much of a difference at another tire shop, another like, you know, tire shop or just shop in general. I think it's like a 10, $20 difference maybe. Because I think my sister paid like 80, 90 bucks at some tire shop. So it's not a huge difference, but you know, it was just more convenient for me to get it done all at once. So in total, I spent around... You guys could just say 570 just to round up um you know that's my price but if you guys have the, the tools and the knowledge to do the work yourself it'll be obviously way cheaper for you guys but if you guys don't have you know like someone else to do it for you at a cheaper price if you guys go to a shop i'm pretty sure they're gonna charge you guys at least like 300 350 so you know it wasn't too bad for me i paid 570 in, in the end so you know something else i just wanted to mention guys not related to what i wanted to talk about is uh, I just I don't really scrape anywhere. I scraped like twice and that's because the uh, the store I went to it had like a really steep um, Place where you enter and exit and I was talking to Martin the other day and he was like Yeah, like I think I scraped there a couple of times too and you know his car is not lowered So it's just like I don't think I went in at an angle enough So I scraped but I think that's literally the only times I scraped and I like that that I don't have to you know worry so much and then on speed bumps I don't really have to go at an angle either like I won't scrape so, I don't know. I just really like that. I don't have to be worried all the damn time. So, another thing I want to talk about, guys, is ride quality. Because if you guys know, it changes um, once you guys lower your car. So, I do feel different, obviously. Like, it does feel stiffer. Like, um, I can feel, like, the road more. It's a little bit more bumpier. You feel every bump and stuff more. 
but it's not like a like terrible terrible it's not a huge huge difference so it's not too bad honestly it's kind of close to stock like um i wouldn't say it's super noticeable but you know um it's definitely there and yeah it's not bad but you can for sure obviously just feel the bumps and the road more but it's not too bad the last thing i wanted to talk about guys is um like camber and as you guys know when you when you guys lower it you guys just get um like natural negative camber and i think when i got my alignment done the front was that it's not it's not even at one it's like negative 0 0.5 or negative 0 0.4 around there i have the alignment sheet right there and the back i don't have a ton but i don't have like a little bit it's like a like a whatever amount it's not it's not bad i think this one's at negative two degrees yeah and then this one's at negative 2.2 yeah you guys can or i can tell that it sticks out a little bit more on this one and then so yeah and the front like i said it's not bad you guys can kind of tell that there's some there it's not too too bad and then i took off my mud flaps just because i was scraping a lot and i was like it's, it's not that low i shouldn't be scraping everywhere and i took them off to see if I, if i was scraping like the car or if it was just the mud flaps and what do you guys know it was the mud flaps so so here's my alignment sheet guys and as you, if you guys want to look at it good um i'm just using this to corrupt my info but if you guys want to like look at it good you guys can pause the video and just read it but it's like i said it's it's not that bad and something i was always worried about guys for a while is um i didn't want to do this or i didn't want to lower my car because i was scared of the camber killing my tires fast and i can't afford to go through you know sets of tires so often but i've talked to a lot of people and like before i got it done and they all told me the same thing which was to make sure how I zeroed out my toe when I got the alignment and just to rotate my tires every 3,000 miles. And then they also said that, that um, the, the reason why people get like really bad wear is like after getting springs on is because they usually don't get an alignment or they get an alignment, but they don't zero out their toe. And bad toe is what gives you like the terrible like tire wear. So I think I should be fine. So I came in my car because there's cars passing by, like they weren't that close, but it was just kind of awkward. They were looking at me like all oh, standing and recording. But that's been the video guys hope you guys enjoyed um if you guys have any questions you guys can leave them in the comments below and i'll try to answer them i think i touched up on like most of the things people would like you know wonder but if you guys have any other questions you guys can leave them in the comments and i'll answer them but other than that that's been the video guys hope you guys enjoyed uh subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next time